from uh, Dr. Mohammad Kamal Hussain Faraji. Uh, he's going to talk on Internet of Things based smart agriculture system in the context of Bangladesh. This topic is also very exciting. And we often talk about Internet of Things in agriculture for having the smart agriculture or climate smart agriculture. L let us enjoy uh, the talk from uh, Mr. Uh, Faraji. Uh, please uh, complete your talk by 12 minutes because I have a warning that we have to complete our session by 5 p.m. So, uh, Dr. Faraji, it is your uh, turn now. Assalamu alaikum and good afternoon. Uh, I would like to thank uh, my chair and co chairs and all the guests from different uh, uh, sectors. And uh, I am not a doctor yet. I am engineer Mohammad Kamal Hussain Faraji, senior assistant director, BTRC, Spectrum Division. And uh, I am doing a PhD in uh, Jahanginagar University in CSE. And my co-authors, uh, Mohammad Jakaria Bhuya, he is also working in um, uh, BTRC. Professor Dr. Mohammad Abul Kashem, he is working as a professor in CSE department at Gajipur and also Lieutenant Colonel Mohammad Faisal. He is working in Bangladesh Army. So uh, we are uh, going to present our uh, IoT-based smart agriculture system in the context of Bangladesh. Uh, actually, this paper analyzes, uh, analyzes the large scale of IoT-based integration in the country's agriculture sector from soil preparation to yield collecting and crop preservation to end uh, consumption. That is whole process of agricultural system. Uh, we would analyze the IoT-based integration. And it also uh, says that uh, the comparison of collected data by the existing sensor-based networking system, which enables the AI system for decision-making process as a means of machine-to-machine -machine, uh, communication. The inclusion of apps-based information monitoring system for real-time surveillance and a complete management system are also important areas to be focused on in this paper. The existing system is built on Internet of Things technology and includes, uh, includes smart devices, GSM technology, interfacing sensors, RFID sensors, a computer-based server system, and radio frequency-based wireless devices among other things. This article provides a knowledge base that can assist researchers and agricultural stakeholders in developing IoT-based solutions uh, to achieve the desired smart agriculture system for the country's benefit. And the following is how it is laid out. Section two illustrates a review of the relevant works and three presents uh, a proposed network design with sensors, IoT technology, and user applications. Another section discusses possible outcomes of the proposed system. And last one draws the conclusion. There are so many existing uh, papers and research works in the world. The uh, first uh, paper here, the grower can use handheld cell phones to access and control the system from afar. The system reduces human intervention, saves time, improves asset utilization, and increases production. Another paper says that all farming operations will be controlled remotely by smart gadgets connected to the cloud. Sensors, Wi-Fi modules, cameras, and actuators will be the interfaced with a microcontroller and a Raspberry Pi or uh, Arduino Uno to carry out the tasks. Another one, the author of the research looked at the many possibilities of IoT applications as well as the challenges of IoT deployment for a smart farming. In agricultural and farming applications, the equipment and wireless communication technologies related with IoT are thoroughly examined. Intelligent and smart services for smart agriculture are provided through sensor enabled IoT systems. Monitoring the environmental influences is a key aspect in increasing the production 
of efficient crops. The study describes the creation of a system that uses sensors to monitor humidity, temperature, moisture, and the movement of animals that may kill crops in agriculture regions. Excuse me, uh, Dr. Faraji, can you move to your review of literature? You know, in IoT, we can have uh, thousands of literature. Okay. okay so uh, reading out that one uh, would not be uh, meaningful. Please move to your work. Okay, this is my uh, proposed prototype. The whole agriculture system, we will introduce uh, the smart agriculture from uh, crops, fisheries, and livestock. Enter agriculture system, we could implement it. And uh, present statistics say that 5.85% broadband connection has been ensured by the internet service provider operators in Bangladesh and uh, 2357 Union Purishad out of targeted 2600 have been under coverage of Info Shortcut 3, where total of 4554 Union Parishad will come under coverage of internet very soon. So this is our uh, targeted uh, area and uh, this model of our proposed model of cluster of IoT network where internet uh, as we are uh, implementing or we want to implement the IoT system. That's why internet uh, is a must and uh, availability of devices, suppose uh, sensors, gateways also uh, needed. And uh, if we uh, say that the cross production chain uh, at first uh, season uh, selection, land selection, positioning, mapping, soil cultivation, sowing process, irrigation process, fertilization, herbicide, pesticide, and fung fungicide and harvesting, everything will be covered in this section. Then the crop supply chain, uh, then uh, after uh, cultivating the products, then we have to yield uh, collection, then crops isolation, storage and preservation, market analysis, buyer selection, price negotiation, suitable packaging, smart transportation, wholesale marketing, retail market marketing uh, to the consumer, all the aspects we will uh, uh, implement and web based system or IoT based system that will cover this everything. And also, overall monitoring for the uh, seed quality, seed quantity, uh, plant growth, fertilization, disease, animals, air, wind, environmental uh, factors and location tra tracking, water and irrigation, yield collection, market monitoring, transportation. Everything will be monitored by the uh, remote uh, IoT-based system. And uh, this is the main parts of the IoT-based uh, smart system, area of use, protocols and techniques, sensor and devices will be used here and uh, another uh, experimental uh, results, soil quality and nutrients management. Uh, we will use these uh, MTQ protocols, LoRa1 and Zigbee technology, or Wi-Fi technology or GSM or 4G, 5G, uh, which is available in the market. And there will be some NPK sensors, nitrogen, phosphorus, potassium sensors will be used for this system. And also, uh, we will implement IoT uh, deployment in water, uh, also in climate analysis, suppose water level measurement, then pulse eco technique, and also ultrasonic rain sensors we will use. And climate analysis also uh, uh, will be done in this section. And oil sensor networks, topology, 3G, 4G, internet will be used. And some sensors like uh, temperature, moisture, humidity, and climate sensors will be used in the section for climate analysis of the development. And another part, the IoT deployment for weather analysis and pest and disease monitoring. So uh, all the things we'll cover uh, for the monitoring system and also chemical distribution, irrigation process, also will be covered and yield management, smart packaging, uh, deployment of ITS, intelligent transport system uh, to the customer's end, 
uh, that means uh, 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 information management system will be uh, implemented here. And uh, all of the foregoing uh, rep uh, represents an upbeat approach to IoT integration in agriculture sector of Bangladesh. As we know that by 2030, uh, a huge number of network connected device, suppose uh, 100 billion of uh, devices will be used. That's why we uh, big data platform along with cloud computing system uh, will be used uh, to store and manage all relevant information of IoT environment could be uh, deployed in this system. Furthermore, in the agriculture sector, domain-based additional and diverse sensors as well as IoT-based interactive devices could be employed to conduct a more advanced productive and automated system. The IoT will be the major driving force and role player for digital Bangladesh, which will lead the country towards four IR based new economic era. Uh, at last, uh, we have to say a smart agriculture has the potentiality to open up the great prospects in Bangladesh. And now it is the time to incorpor uh, incorporate it to our agriculture sector. All areas of automation using IoT, uh, IoT based sensors and devices and technologies in agriculture industry of Bangladesh have been addressed in the research of a smart and precision agriculture system design deployment and assessment. This will greatly benefit farmers and land owners as well as the country's develop, uh, development. Finally, there is an urgent need to build such a system to regulate the entire agriculture sector. and. Uh, we hope that the system will minimize the overall cost of the agro-based ecosystem and maximize the yields from uh, yields from cultivable land. The right integration of IoT is the ultimate solution for Bangladesh to ensure the most efficient use of available resources for the entire agriculture ecosystem in order to produce maximum yield. And this is my references from where I got the uh, ideas. Excellent. Thank you very much. Uh, excellent, uh, Engineer Mohammed uh, Kamal Hussain Faraji. Uh, this is a thought pro provoking idea and concept. Uh, obviously, uh, in uh, uh, our journey to make agriculture profitable and smart, uh, integration of IoT uh, based uh, system uh, would be uh, uh, one of the way and smart way. Uh, obviously, uh, this uh, idea uh, uh, paper as well as concept paper uh, would be, uh, uh, you know, in future uh, uh, policies uh, would be included in the future policies. Thank you very much. Uh, do anyone have, a, I, I can allow one question because uh, uh, Dr. Farazi uh, shared the thought, what is going on and what could be done, not their actual data, but uh, I think in future, uh, this group will uh, generate the data, then we can make, uh, you know, uh, comments and uh, uh, how to say, ask question. Mm -hmm.